It's August 21st, and here's what we're looking at for this week. I expect the market to go down to test this 110 level on the SPY, and as of right now, I expect it to pierce through this 110 level and make a lower absolute low in terms of price, meaning the price sometime this week I expect to come down below 110. Now, that is bearish, but here's what I'm looking for. I will continue to be bearish and not want to buy any stocks until I see this one thing that I'm looking at right here, and it's about the same on any type of stock. This blue line here, this is the second standard deviation Bollinger Band. Now, what I expect to happen is the price to come down and pierce this 110 level to make a lower absolute low in terms of price, but I don't expect it to come pierce this lower Bollinger Band. So what will happen is if that turns out to be the case, we'll have a higher relative low in terms of relation to the Bollinger Band. So just so long as the price, even if it comes down to pierce this 110 level, just so long as it doesn't come outside the lower Bollinger Band, if it comes somewhere inside the blue Bollinger Band, somewhere around here, and then turns up will have some kind of W formation that we can hypothesize is our bottom. Okay? So that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for something like this that does not pierce the Bollinger Band. And if that's the case, then you can get long with uh, protective stops in place right around here so that if the price comes back down, you know you're wrong and the market's got more downside ahead. And that's the same on just about any single thing you look at. So I want to see some kind of W formation, even if we pierce this 110 level on the SPY. And also in conjunction with some kind of bottom in the market and all the stocks that we look at, I want to see gold come in. You can see that it's riding this upper Bollinger Band here. It can't do this indefinitely. We can see back here how it rode the upper Bollinger Band but eventually it comes back in. Here it's riding the upper Bollinger Band it gets this spike outside and that's your signal to get out. So I'm looking for something like this candlestick right here. This may be it. If we get a down day Monday in gold maybe that's the top in gold which should correspond with a bottom in the market. In gold I'd be looking to get long gold somewhere around the 200 day moving average. But uh, this kind of move is unsustainable. So I want to see a bottom in the SPY in conjunction with a top in gold this week. I expect it to happen sometime this week and then we'll know that we've got a good indication that a bottom is put in place. We can go over any kind of stock, maybe Caterpillar, it's the same thing you can see. We've got already a breakdown of this low right here and if we get any kind of bounce in Caterpillar, and it should be within the confines of the Bollinger Band complex, then we'll see that maybe can happen with John Deere as well. Maybe it comes back down to test this level. Maybe it breaks through, but just so long as it stays within the Bollinger Band complex, we'll have a good indication that some type of bottom is put in place. And I think it can happen because I like to see this high volume at the low. That means a lot of stock is changing hands right here at the bottom and on the way up, as opposed to a lot of volume happening at the top. That means there's lots of distribution. If there's lots of volume going on at the bottom, it means there's lots of sellers, lots of buyers, lots of stock changing hands, a good indication that perhaps we have some kind of bottom. So that is what I'm looking for this week. I expect it to happen this week, and if it doesn't, then we'll know we have more downside ahead, and it's not time to be loading up on any kind of stock. But you can go through this exercise with just about any stock out there. Okay? We could certainly get a breakdown at this level in Apple, but then we got the 200 day moving average right here. We get a bounce just looking for some kind of indication 
that the bottom is in. So that's what we're looking for. Any kind of bounce this week that stays with inside this Bollinger Band is a good indication that we've got a bottom. All right.